the stream as always. Are we live? Are we live? Are we live? Are we live? Everybody and welcome to a very special afternoon session of Asagao Academy! I'm Gina, aka the Gina Chew. If you look in the chat, um, you will see all the different ways you can follow me on social media. Um, I want to start off by giving a big thank you to my friend Mike of Spike Plays Games for hosting me this afternoon. Uh, check out his stream. Um, I will put his name in the chat right now. So check him out when we're done here with Asagao Academy, but I figured I would do two Asagao Academy streams today because one, uh, I don't really have much to do today, and also, why not? I mean, I'm having so much fun with this game and so much fun sharing it with you guys. It's been so much fun seeing everybody's comments and, and I've just fallen in love with this game and with streaming and with the interaction with you guys, so. Uh, I'm really excited to get started. So this is a new day. So we'll start off as we always do on new days. Uh, the, uh oh, the current event is called injury. Oh no. <laughs> already we're starting off and I'm already sad again. Okay, well however, our tournament points are now at 30. We got 30 tournament points. Let's hope <laughs> that we don't lose any tournament points. I'm, I'm hoping, hoping that we will get some kind of a good end, but it looks like we're on the right track so far. Um, so let's read our uh, diary entry for today. Dear Diary, I'm starting to get really, really worried about him. I assume we're talking about BBG. Uh, if he keeps going at this rate, he's going to hurt himself, but what can I do? If he wants to work himself to death, I can't make him stop. That is true, but it, it seems like he finally kind of understands that you're just kind of trying to support him. Uh, so hopefully that's a good sign All right, so let's continue. I'm very scared about what's gonna happen here because this event is called injury and I'm Very sad about the implications of this The afternoon at the big game the Sun was harsh and the air was heavy The humidity was almost unbearable going outside felt like walking into an indoor swimming pool. Oh, I hate that feeling It was finally halftime at the soccer match the score was an even 3-3, but Asaga's biggest rivals, the Moirai Fates, were being extremely aggressive. One player in particular already got a yellow card and was consistently getting into minor scrapes. So far, no one was hurt, but there are plenty of moments where Asaga might have been able to score had they not been avoiding his risky lunges. Oh, there's shenanigans going on on the other team. Yeah, that's frustrating! Agreed, Hana. Same. It wasn't looking good. PBG was in great form, but his stress had taken its toll. Yeah, see, he should have been resting up. His hair was matted with sweat and beads of it rolled down his face. He waved his arms around vigorously, talking to Jeff, who was being just as enthusiastic back. It doesn't look like it's going very well. Don't worry, we just gotta believe in the team. Well. If you say so. I didn't feel good about this. Not at all. They don't, they don't feel confident either. Uh, PBG and the rest of the team jogged back onto the field. He got into position this time as the center forward, directly opposing the rogue player from Moirai. Oh, he's gonna hurt peeps! I have a bad feeling about this. Me too, Hana. The whistle blew is my turn to me. <gasps> if you keep acting like that, you'll drag the team down. Come on, why can't you... PBG! Ugh. Oh no! PBG was on the ground, holding his leg and writhing in pain. The rogue player stood above him, a smirk on his face. Oh my god! PBG, no! The Asagao students in the stand lost their minds. Foul words flew around us. If anything, it seemed like a riot was imminent. The referee ran out to the field and spoke to PBG. He shook his head and tried to stand on his leg, only to instantly collapse what? again. I don't understand what happened. That player basically trapped PBG's ankle between his feet and twisted it on purpose. 
Wow, what a jerk! He better get thrown out of the game at least. It looks like some kind of judo move. That was no judo. Oh, he has a book in his hands. Gintendo 101, a brief history. <laughs> I enjoy it, thank you. <laughs> I like that. Finally, a stretcher arrived on the main building along with Mr. Pick Mr. McPasta. Okay. PBG was gently placed on the stretcher and rolled off the field. My heart sunk as I watched him roll past me, his face contorted in pain. How are we going to win without PBG? He's our best player. Jeff can't handle the rest by himself. No. I can't, st I can't stay here. I'm going to check on PBG, okay? You can't go to the nurse's office. They won't even let you in. Yeah, he's got a point. I patted him in my on the shoulders and stood. I'll make them let me in. Yo, Hada is determined as hell, and I love it. I couldn't explain why seeing PBG in pain left me feeling so uneasy, but I felt like I was going to be in constant stress until I saw him. What if he was hurt worse? What if his leg was broken? Oh, I doubt his leg is broken. As I scurried to the nurse's office, I tried to keep the worst possibility from my mind, but it kept whispering through like a ghost. Oh, I know those feels. PBG wouldn't be able to play anymore. There was no way. I opened the door to the nurse's office myself. It was still and quiet, a far cry from the chaos of the soccer field. Okay, what kind of technology does this school have that we have fucking x-rays on the wall? What? Okay. This looks like a literal hospital. The sun was pouring through the open window, curtains fluttering slightly in the breeze. I glanced around for Mr. McPasta, but there was nowhere to be found. PBG's legs formed long lumps underneath a bed, his feet sticking up in the air like flags. It didn't seem like anyone else was sick. <laughs> I slipped through the curtains that were hung around him for privacy and pulled a stool up next to his bed. He lay still, eyes closed. Was he sleeping? How could he have fallen asleep so fast? Well, being that he's been up every goddamn night, he's probably exhausted. Then it hit me. He hadn't been sleeping before this. Of course he fell asleep. Thank you, Hana. In the distance, I heard cheers. I stood and peeked out the window, seeing the Asuka students in a frenzy and the players cheering. cheering. Somehow, we still managed to win. Well, that's good. I sat back down and brushed PBG's hair out of his face. Mr. McPasa obviously helped him clean up a bit, as his face was no longer covered with the dirt and sweat of the game. I glanced at his legs, slung, snug under the sheets. I couldn't tell what was wrong. Should I take a peek? Oh, jeez. I would not... Oh, I think that's a little much. No, I'm going to say don't look. He's sleeping. PBG, she, she, bleh, PBG shifted and I glanced at him. Okay, we didn't lose any tournament point. I don't know. I don't even know if that affects anything. But yeah, no, I wasn't going to go looking under his bed sheets. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> Ugh. He blinked a few times and looked up at me. Hana. Hana, what are you doing here? <gasps> the game! The game! Did we win the game? What happened? I glanced towards the open window. We won. He scanned my face and frowned. What's wrong? Tears filled my eyes. I was so worried about you, you big idiot! I leaned over and hugged him. Uh. What? What? Arms that circled me. Arms that were surprisingly strong. Um. If you don't mind... <laughs> Oh, that's the guy in the closet! <laughs> that's the guy in the closet! <laughs> from when Gerard was showing us around the school. I flung PBG away from me. Where did you c come from? <laughs> I've been here the whole time. What? What? PBG, I'm sorry to say that you... You won't be playing anymore this season. PBG's eyes fell. He didn't say anything. <laughs> The injury itself isn't so incredibly bad, but it will take a few weeks to heal. At this point, the stress of practicing and playing would prevent it from healing properly. If you try to push it, this improper healing will create scar tissue and forever limit the strength and flexibility of your leg. Please, please, do not try to play. Even walking around campus will be more than enough stress. This campus is so poop and huge. I'm sorry, PBG. I put a hand on his arm and he didn't react. Mm. Hey, it's okay. The team won this game, right? They're in line to do pretty well this season. You're their captain. You've done a great job of training them, so... A gentle hand rested it is itself on my shoulder, and I looked up at Creeps. Miss Mizuno. 
I think it would be best if you let him rest a bit. Yes, sir. I stood and with one last pat on PBG's shoulder left. <laughs> Since I got to the door, I remembered PBG. something. PBG. Ellipses. He was crying. Oh, I can't! I turned back and left the room pretending I saw nothing. I can't! I can't! I can't deal with that! Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see it because I'm 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 losing my damn mind right now. Why? That's heartbreaking. I couldn't believe this happened to him. This was his worst nightmare. Wasn't there some way I could help him? But as I headed back to my room, a small self-satisfied thought popped into my head. I told him so. That's not nice. I'll take this slide and you can mind the movements while I'm. PBG? Are you listening? <gasps> huh? Oh, I'm sorry. What was that? It was the day after PBG's injury. His knee was wrapped in a brace and his ankle was stiffly bandaged to keep it from moving too much. Alright, let's see. Alright, we haven't lost any tournament points. I know uh, tournament points are obviously not indicative of the romance plotline, I would assume. But I'm hoping that we've been okay with that so far. Okay. Dear Diary, now he's hurt and I don't know which hurt worse, the leg, his leg or his pride. I really hope he doesn't try to push it or he'll have an injury to deal with for the rest of his life. Why can't he take a step back and breathe a little? Well, it's just not in his personality. As somebody who's pretty high stress myself, I, 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 it's hard to, for some people to kind of take a step back. He shouldn't even be walking on it, but instead he insisted on coming to class as if everything was normal. I'll read this slide and you can do the movements. Sure. Ellipses. No matter what I tried, it was as if he was on another planet. Hey, how are you feeling? Huh? I'm fine. Are you sure? You can always come talk to me if you need to. <laughs> Ellipses. Uh. Whoa! I don't want to be rude, but you're not the easiest person to talk to about this. Wow! <laughs> What? What do you mean? <sighs> he sighed. This is exactly what you said would happen. A hot jet of shame roared down my back. Yeah, but... It's fine. I don't want to talk about it. It's not my fault I was right. The rest of the day passed slowly by. PBG didn't end up getting any better. Mostly he just stared at his desk and tried to move as little as possible. And I wasn't the only one who noticed. <laughs> Ellipsy. Comic Sans Ellipses! God damn it, why does he speak in Comic Sans? <laughs> Still, there was nothing we could do. In the middle of my worries, I saw a familiar green jacket and bushel hey. of brown hair. John! He about jumped a foot in the air. Ah. <laughs> what? What? I'm sorry, I didn't do it! It was a mistake, really? I didn't know he would break like that! What's up? <gasps> you broke shock! John! You broke shock! John! 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 Don't give me these shenanigans! You broke shock! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, poor shock! <laughs> oh, I, I'm sorry, that took me completely by surprise! <laughs> oh, Hana, what's on your mind? What was that about? What's on your mind? I asked you a question. His eyes narrowed. What's on your mind? <laughs> I'm sorry, never mind. I mean, uh, PBG's been really, really sad since he got injured. It's like the life got sucked out of him. Oh yeah, well that's what he loves to do and now he can't do it. I was hoping there was something we could do to cheer him up. Yeah, he's been having trouble getting out of bed in the morning. He hasn't even been practicing for the tournament like he's supposed to. At this rate, we'll definitely lose. I guess, but I really wanted to make him happy. No. This cannot stand! We cannot lose to those hidden block scum! <laughs> wow! Oh! Uh, <laughs> so what's your idea? <laughs> That's why I came to you. <gasps> oh my god, Hannah! My sister just got back from this huge spa trip! 
Wait, you have a sister? I can't believe this. It's so not fair. I wish I could have gone, but she didn't even invite me. Well, what's the point of being related to rich people when they don't let you do the cool things? Yeah. My, that's it. What is? We should take a trip to... I paused and leaned in to whisper. A hot springs. Yes! We're gonna get a hot spring seed! Oh my god! Please, let's do it. Let's let it happen. Um... Do you hear something? I don't even know if that was right. Ah! Um. Oh, what's that dust cloud in the distance? Look at <laughs> of course it's Jared! Did somebody say hot springs? <laughs> what the f- Did somebody say fan service? <laughs> Oh my gosh! No! <laughs> no, we did not say fan yeah! service! <laughs> yes! Oh my god, of course! <laughs> Hannah's like, hot springs with Jared? Um, yes, happening. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. I'm so excited! I'm so glad everybody could come! Oh, <laughs> PBG's not happy! <laughs> I looked around at Jared and Mai's excited faces and the dissonantly sad PBG. Right. I'm sure this is going to be a great time, but of course any time spent with you two lovely ladies is bound to be great. Oh, Jared. <laughs> oh, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> so has anyone been to this hot springs before? Mm -hmm. I've been to another, but never this one. I didn't know we had one in Higanbana, but I guess it's pretty cool that we do. I know about most hot springs in the nation, but this one seems to have been just recently built. There's an inn attached to it and everything. PBG's just like, all I want to do is be alone and be mopey, and these people won't let me do it! <laughs> oh, that's our stop! Let's go! The hot springs will probably be good for his injury, too, actually. We entered the general inn area and made our way to the hot springs, excited. Mai and I split off to the ladies' side while PBG and Jared headed towards the men's area, and we'll see how long that lasts. As Mai and I cleaned off, we chatted animatedly about the trip. <laughs> I can't wait to see Jared with this shirt off! This was the best idea, Hana, ever! <laughs> God, Mai. Why? You are such a creeper in the most adorable way possible. I, I don't even know how that's possible. I tried not to stare at her body, tried very hard not to compare it to my own. I mean, I had always known that Mai was a bit bigger in some areas, but I never bothered to... Well, it wasn't important. Still, I stared down at my boyish frame and frowned. I've been planning for this day, Hana. I'm so ready. Well, what do you mean? He's so cute. What do I mean? This is a golden opportunity. The perfect opportunity to capture my Jared's heart. I've got a whole plan set out and everything. Mm. You're not going to do anything that could get you in illegal trouble, right? <laughs> Girl, what kind of fool do you take me for? Anyways, are you ready to go? I yeah. I wrapped the towel around myself and stepped out to the hot springs. It's so nice in here. Mai immediately got into the water, but I hesitated. Was she going to take off her towel? I wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared! <gasps> oh, wait, I... I forgot something in there. Okay, hurry back! As I turned away, I noticed Mai unclip her hair from her head and do a dramatic hair flip. <laughs> Who is she doing that for? It was only us here. I ran back into the changing room, standing against the back wall. Calm down, Hana. You've seen naked women before. This ain't no big deal. It's not like Jared and PBG are out there. They're not going to see you, and Mai's not going to judge you, so it doesn't matter. Oh, uh, uh, Jared and PBG. If it's not like they're going to see you, yeah, well, I have a feeling that's... <laughs> I have a feeling that's not going to last. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I took a deep breath. I could do this. I could totally do this. I stepped back out to the hot springs, a smile on my face. Sorry about that, but I'm back. Hey. She's gone. Is it, oh, oh, Hana, there he is. <laughs> ah, 
look at Jared and Mai! That's adorable! Will she look at- look at that smile! She is so happy! She's like in her freaking element right now! And PBG <laughs> looks looks a little seductive himself with those with those bedroom eyes. But this this is killing me right here. This is killing me right here. That's great. What? Come on in. The water's great. <laughs> what, 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 what are you doing in here? It's a communal hot spring for both sexes. I had no idea until we found Mai out here. Oh, I guess that Mai was blinded by a bright flash. When it faded, I realized it came from Jared, who was somehow sitting contentedly next to her and staring into her eyes. Oh my god, they were only wearing towels. Well, it's a hot spring! Really? They were basically naked! <laughs> it's a hot spring! <laughs> PBG seemed to come to this realization at the same time as me. His eyes grew wide and a blush came over his face. Uh, D don't you want to come in? N not that you have to or anything. I I'm... Uh, sure. I'll, I'll come in. I stepped into the hot water slowly, conscious of the fact that each step brought me closer and closer to a basically naked PBG. I held the bottom of the towel down so it wouldn't float as I got in and noticed PBG avert his eyes. A anyway, so, uh, how are you guys feeling? He directed this to mine and Jared, but they were completely out of it. There was no getting anything from either of them. That's adorable. My, go for it. I'm rooting for you. I officially ship it. <laughs> I'm going to feel so bad when I do the Jared romance route. I'm going to feel so guilty. <laughs> Finally, I was in. The spring was really small, wasn't it? PBG was really close to me, like, really close to me. Enjoy the moment, Hana. Just enjoy the moment. I had a vice grip on my towel. There was no room to sit next to mine and Jared, so I sat opposite them. PBG sitting in the center of the hot springs looked around and then started to come towards me. Mind if I sit here? <laughs> no, go ahead. He came so he came close to me and closer to me and closer. Finally, he was next to me and he started to sit on the rocks next to me. Started to. He never made it. As he was sitting, he bumped my arm and my grip on my towel loosened. Oh, no! Oh, my God! These amount of sh- Oh, okay. I almost uh, forgot to read this, too. A hot spring trip. What a great idea. I'm so freaking excited. I don't even know what I'll do. Well, I have a feeling that's changed now. Now you're, like, freaking out about it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Hannah! Oh god, no! All at once, a giant gush of blood came flooding out of PVGs and my noses. Thank you for doing the anime nosebleed! Ah! What the hell? What is going on? Ew, it's everywhere! The water is turning to blood! It's the second coming! <laughs> PVG, PVG, come back! Hang in there, man! He's floating! He's doing the dead man's float! Oh god, PVG! <laughs> We're losing her! She's losing consciousness! Hana! I more feel bad that I ruined Mai's moment with Jared there. I woke to Mai hovering worriedly over me. Where am I? This is one of the inn rooms. We rented one for a little bit. I glanced around. It was a standard Japanese-style in-room, nice and neat, but it smelled of fresh orange peels. Mai was eyeing me as if looking for signs of an illness. What's wrong? How did I get here? Um... Do you... not remember? Not remember what? Mm. I didn't think it would be this bad, but if it was so traumatic that you don't even remember it, it's probably best not to <gasps> tell you. What? What happened to me out there? Oh, no. <laughs> I put a hand on my shoulder. There are some things in this world that you're just not meant to know. But... <gasps> Don't question God's blessings, Hana! <laughs> God's blessings! <laughs> what, that PBG potentially saw her naked or that she doesn't remember it? <laughs> yes, ma'am! Excuse me, can I come PBG. in? PBG? 
For some reason, a well's worth of embarrassment washed over me. My glass to be that told PBG to come in. Hey. Hey, Mai. Hey, Hana. Glad to see you're up again. Um. Oh, do you mind if I speak to you alone, Hana? <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. Yeah, go ahead. Go hang out with Jared. Mai stood and crossed to the hallway, glancing over us her glancing uh, at us over her shoulder as she did so. Play nice, you two. She winked and then shut the door. He was still shirtless. Deal with it. He sat down in front of me and looked at me, still shirtless. I tried to look anywhere but his chest, anywhere but... Wow, this was a really small room. And it was super hot in here. Super hot. I couldn't breathe. Happy blushy ellipses going on. Um... I know you've been worried about me lately. Oh, I glanced away. I'm sure you already know, but soccer is really important to me. One of the most important things. It's been driving me crazy that I haven't been able to play. I can't even attend the practices without having the entire team tell me to leave them alone. But it's been my life at Asagao. Soccer is how I made friends after you left, how I gained confidence in myself. Without it, I didn't know what I would do. I was going crazy and I was getting depressed. But... That was no reason to ignore you and throw myself a pity party. That was stupid. Agreed. I'm sorry for worrying you so much. And thank you. What for? Well... I usually feel like I'm a joke to people, but when I'm with you, I feel like I'm more than that. You understand me. You make me feel like I matter and like you take me seriously. Well, she does! So I... Thank you. <laughs> You're a wonderful person. <laughs> PBG threw his head back and laughed. Well, shucks. No, I'm serious. It was thanks to you that I could feel at home here. You showed me what it was like to have a real true friend, someone who genuinely cares about me. Thank you for making my school life so wonderful. Well, you're welcome. Anytime. Do you think... I flushed. Do you think we could keep growing together for the rest of our lives? I know it's cheesy, but you're an important friend to me, and I don't want to lose you again. Oh, look at him! He leaned over and pulled me into a hug. I wrapped my arms around him, smiling contentedly. Of course we can. Yay! Wait until she realizes that they're both half naked! <laughs> a few seconds went by, and then I realized something. PBG was still wrapped in just his towel, and so was I. It was skin on skin, just a towel separating us. At the realization hit me, my mouth went dry. I was too embarrassed to speak or move. Uh, um, <laughs> PBG released me and I let go of him. Man, I'm really glad we came to that conclusion. But I uh, think I should go now. He stood and sprinted across the room, flinging the door open. Oh, oh Jesus. PBG sprinted past Jared and Mai, who fell away from the door with a crash. Uh, PBG, wait! Were you guys spying? Or do you guys ship Hana and PBG? Were you spying? Jared chased after PBG, leaving Mai and I alone. She crawled to me from across the room like some kind of demented bug. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Tell me! Do you like each other? Are you dating now? Is PBG your boyfriend? I could hardly hear anything. You were talking so quietly. I beamed at her, trying to hold in a laugh. That's a secret! Oh my god! <laughs> She's just gonna take that as an affirmative. Okay. So now we're up to another day. By the way, thank you uh, to uh, Illucid for giving us all of these save points. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Mine and I walked to class the next morning like absolute zombies. Well, first let's read this. Dear Diary, Okay, so I feel really weird about writing this since it's about Peanut Butter Gamer. Especially since it's about Peanut Butter Gamer. I mean, I've known him forever, but when I saw him in the springs, I realized he was... He'd become... He was all grown up. His shoulders and muscles, and suddenly it was like, um... I don't know. I guess it took me until now to realize that he was a grown man, not the little kid I remembered. Yeah, Hana. Mine, I walked to yes, like absolute zombies. I wasn't sure if it was the blood or the heat or the sheer stress of it all. But neither of us wanted to talk to each other. We didn't even want to look at each other. When PBG and I came out of our room that night, we found Jared and Mai in the room across the hall, sitting four yards apart on opposite ends of the room. When I asked whether they wanted to go home... 
<gasps> yes, definitely. Oh, something happened. They responded like that. Something was up. Something definitely had to be up. <gasps> something happened. But the drive back to the academy was made in utter stony silence outside of a few passive observations on PBG's part to try and break the tension. If Mai wasn't telling me what happened between her and Jared, that probably meant it was something bad. Really, really bad. Especially considering they seemed like they were going well. things were going well in the hot actual spring. I need to slow down when I talk because I'm tripping over my own tongue. I wasn't about to bring that up if she wasn't ready to relive it. For all I knew, she just destroyed any chances of dating the guy she'd crushed on for the past three years. Knowing my, it was very possible she simply wasn't able to conduct herself uh, properly in his presence. I wasn't about to go poking my nose in her most embarrassing moment. We climbed to the third floor behind Mimi and Kakusu, who moved as though approaching their own execution. Of course, they took up all the space of the stairwell, so we couldn't move around them even if we wanted to. My and my own silence meant that, whether we wanted to or not, we ended up eavesdropping on their conversations. So apparently, the nearby hot springs are closed for the rest of the year. What? No way! I was going to join my friends on a celebratory excursion after graduating the midterm exams. I don't really know what happened, but because the staff don't want to go into it. But apparently it had something to do with the water being tainted. Oh my god! That's hilarious. You don't think people were copulating in the springs? <laughs> oh my god. Why do you talk like that? I'm sure that's why it is. But it must have been some kind of party if it made the springs completely shut down. Kakusu's eyes flashed. It's being inspected for health violations. If they find something, they might not even be able to reopen. Aw, oh, man! I hope they catch whoever did it. It sucks that we have to suffer because somebody else was an asshole. It was... it was... it was a mistake. It was an accident. Oh! <laughs> Embarrassed ellipses! <laughs> when we reached the top of the stairwell, we sped around the girls and into the classroom like we were running from a swarm of bees. As I hooked my bag on my desk, a Jolly John approached hey. me. Hana, welcome back. How are the spur- mm. Shh, don't tell anybody we were there. Uh. Um, okay. Well, whatever you did worked. Look. He pointed across the way to PBG, who was sitting at his desk, happily doodling. He noticed us looking at him and waved cheerfully. I waved back. What did you do? I never would have thought he would recover from something like this so quickly. <laughs> oh, he just talked. Had a bit of a heart-to-heart, -heart, I guess you could say. John held up a hand. Thank you, that's all that I needed to know. Well, Hana, you're one special girl. Uh, um... <laughs> I just meant thank you for looking after our boy. No problem, he's my friend after all. John snorted. Yup, definitely. And friends look after yeah. each other. Exactly! <laughs> John finds this hilarious because he thinks that being just friends is the biggest crock of shit he's ever heard in his life. <laughs> he's like, yep, okay. <laughs> he wandered off to his seat, still laughing like a maniac. What's up with him? I turned to Mai, and she shrugged, staring out the window despondently. I guess she didn't feel up to chatting either. It was so unlike her. What happened between her and Jared? I'm really sad something happened between my and Jared. I'm sad. Thankfully, my thought is the day wore on, and by the time we got back to Primrose House, we were deep in discussion about volleyball strategies. But as we approached our room, I groaned. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Is it? Oh, another note. I, maybe it is from PBG, because now he's feeling better, and now we have another poem. Or it still could be Jared. Oh, I'm dying to know who this is. We're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. Another note was taped gleefully to the door. I ripped it off as a bear might knock down a beehive. Oh, what did the paper ever do to you? <laughs> I glared at her as I opened the letter. Oh, love. Oh, love? Oh, love, oh, love. She's so lovely and sweet. She captures my feelings and shines like the sea. So lovely, so lovely, so pretty and nice. Oh, love is so hot. Oh, love is so ice. Oh, my God. <laughs> This person's trying so hard. 
getting warmer and warmer and warmer until I pour too much water, but love cannot spill. For this lovely I see stares back at me with the sea, for her love has the loveliest eyes I have seen. Okay, because Jared and my were staring into each other's eyes while they were in the hot spring, I feel like this was Jared. But something did happen between them that was kind of awkward. So maybe, maybe not? I stared at the paper. Eyes like the sea? <laughs> I told you they weren't for me. Oh yeah, Hannah's eyes. Did I really have a secret admirer? I never even had a boy had a crush on me. Never in my life. But strangest of all, when I should have felt my absolute happiest, I still felt an odd sense of dread. What if, like, John or, or Jared or somebody else was writing these to Hana on behalf of PBG? And she... Uh, that would be the biggest, most hilarious disaster. <laughs> we headed inside our room and I glanced around, unsure of what to do with the letter. Hey, what's up? You okay, Hana? Uh I don't like this. Well, just put it away and forget about it, right? Whoever wrote it obviously isn't confident enough to approach you directly, and as long as that doesn't happen, you can just pretend like they don't exist. I folded up the letter and stuffed it inside my desk with its brothers. If PBG goes looking through her desk someday, that's going to be really weird. I guess so. A letter is just a letter. It's great that you have a secret admirer, too. Who knows? Maybe it's someone you have feelings for. <laughs> Well, there isn't anybody that I like, so that's impossible. My glared at me. What? I'm serious. I know you're serious. That's exactly why I'm annoyed. <laughs> she sighed and shook her head. <laughs> Poor guy's got it rough. But I guess you don't pick who you fall in love with. <laughs> Psh, a secret admirer is hardly someone in love. He probably just got a little crush. Even if he even is a he. I wasn't talking about... Oh, forget it. <laughs> Hana, you are so oblivious. A blush rose in my cheeks, but ignored it. But I ignored it. Anyway, we're in the middle of discussing your tactics, right? Have you tried the jack shot? Oh, no! No! First of all... <laughs> okay, so let's be honest. First of all, I hate Final Fantasy X. I loved Blitzball, though. I played the, I played the hell out of Blitzball. I'm going to be honest with you. The jack shot is like the only good thing about about Titus's skill like skill list in that game. Like I only keep him in for the jack shot, but that's <laughs> Really? <laughs> Have you tried the jack shot? I heard online that it's pretty good. Eh, it's a bit overhyped. It doesn't work well for volleyball as you would think. Yeah. I wouldn't think so. The subject safely dropped. Mai and I discussed her next game until late in the evening. Something got her more excited about volleyball than usual. And that was saying something when it came to Mai. Maybe Jared's gonna come watch. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me, and I didn't ask. I wonder what it was. Chapter 4! We're at Chapter 4, you guys! After the whole... Okay, before we start this, let's read... Okay. <laughs> Dear Diary, the notes, they started again. Ooh, midnight release. Ooh, are we gonna go to the midnight release of a game? That sounds exciting. After the whole incident, things returned mostly to normal. No, rather than normal, it was more like things calmed down. Like a river that was no longer flooding. A few weeks passed during which we took our first real test of the term. Thankfully, I scored a 95, high enough to keep my scholarship and provide a buffer for the rest of the year. The Osaka Strikers played their first game without PPG and they managed to win. The entire school celebrated, except for PPG, who watched his game from his dorm room window. No! I wonder how he felt? In all other respects, he was back to the PPG we all knew and loved. It was the day after that game that he approached me. Hana. PPG. PPG, what's up? He stared at me for a few seconds, not saying anything. I cocked my head to the side. PBG? You there? Uh, I'm there. Uh, I was wondering if you... Uh, Ellipses. I nodded, trying to get him to finish his sentence. You will? I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, right. So there's this game that's coming out soon, and they're doing a midnight release for it. 
It's a really cool game. It's all about these little animals living in the village together and you come and join and live with them. Oh, Animal Crossing! Do you want to come with me? What do you do with the animals? In the game, you befriend them and go fishing, fossil hunting, and there are festivals. You can decorate your house and wear different outfits too. It's so cute. Actually, <laughs> PBG loves those. That sounds like something you'd be into. I'll say, and I think you'd like it too. Plus, I wanted to say thank you for what you did for me with the hot springs. So, what do you think? Well, sure! So I'll just be keeping you company? Um... um yeah, I guess so. Hana! Stop being so oblivious! <laughs> he glanced away from me looking troubled. Was something wrong? Okay, cool! Great, I'll pick you up tonight. Now! Do you want to go get lunch? I'm sure everyone's wondering where we are. I'm sure Meyer John told them what was up. PBG turned pale. I hope not. What was up with him today? Yeah, well, he's probably been talking to them and trying to find a way to ask her out on a date, and she's just so oblivious, man. He came to pick me up right on time, as planned. When I opened the door, Mai poked her head out from the top of her bunk. Hey, what's up? Going somewhere? <gasps> oh, PBG! Ah! Uh. Uh. My glance from me to him and back again. I looked away. I hadn't told her because... Because... Well, because it never came up! How can he talk about something if it doesn't come up in conversation? Have fun! You better bring her back safely or I'll stab you with a lance made of toothpicks! <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> yes, ma'am! We stepped out into the dark night and I instantly started shivering. How cold was it out here? Below freezing? I didn't bring a real jacket with me, but I didn't have a heavy jacket for this kind of weather yet, so there wasn't much I could do about it. Instead, I kept my mouth shut and tried to hide my trembles as we headed for the train station. Hey! Where's this game store, by the way? It's a local one in the city. I like to go to it when I can support them. When I can to support them. Yeah, support small game stores, man. Also, they have a puppy there! You're not allergic to dogs, are you? No, I love them! I've always wanted to adopt one. We had one at home and I miss him so much. Really? That must have happened after I left. <laughs> it happened because you left. I was sad so my parents brought me a dog for Christmas. Ellipses. <laughs> What's the dog's name? Hmm. It's a him and that's not important. Tell me. No, that's fine. <gasps> Tell me. There's really no reason. Did he name it Hana? PBG. Haru. He named it after her! That's cute. A anyways, follow me. I'm sorry, I'm looking at all this. Super veg. I like it. Itty bitty kitties. <laughs> this big huge building of itty bitty kitties. Simple scarf shop. Man, this art is so good. Danielle did such a sweet job on this. We took several twists and turns after leaving the station, PBG intent on finding the shop. Let me see, by the way. Let's see what else is gonna happen. It's a bit harder to find when everything is dark. I blew my breath into the air and watched the resulting cloud float away above me. It was cold. Here it is! I gestured to a line of people huddled outside of a store, all wearing thick jackets and mittens. There weren't as many people as I expected, but that made sense. How many people would like a game about living with animals enough to wait outside at midnight for it? We got into line behind a man with a blue-dyed blue -dyed mohawk. It won't be long now. Uh, Hana, are you okay? I looked up at him from where I was dancing on the street. Y yeah, why? You look like you need to pee. No, I'm... F Achoo! He looked at me from head to toe as if seeing me for the first time. Uh, why are you wearing a skirt? It's cold. Yeah, well, I, I didn't want to go home and change. Well, I'm a bit cold too. So maybe we should huddle together to preserve warmth. He's trying so hard. Oh my god, Hana, please don't mess this up. Plus, I'm wearing a jacket, so... PBG opened his normal boots club jacket to me, looking away. So, you can... I didn't need to be told twice. I walked into the folds of his jacket and hugged him. He wrapped his arms around the ends of the jacket around us. Thankfully, I was tiny enough to fit inside. Only the tip of my bow picked out of the top. PBG was a heating pad, and slowly I warmed up and stopped shivering. PBG sat his chin on top of my head like a little footrest. He smelled really good, like vanilla and cinnamon. 
Why did he smell like vanilla and cinnamon? Huh? PBG tried to talk to me, but with one side of my face against his chest and the other against his jacket, I could barely understand him. It sounded like his mouth was full of marshmallows. What? Uh, sure. I, we stood there in silence for a while, and then PBG started wiggling on the top of my skull. It felt really good, like he was giving me a massage or something. His beard was tickling me. Then I realized that he was talking to me, and I just couldn't hear him. I nuzzled into his chest, and he stopped talking for a bit. Then he started rubbing my back. What was he saying? Was I supposed to answer? I stayed where I was, and the seconds ticked away. Oh! His head lifted off the top of mine and opened his jacket to look down at me. The line moved! It looks like we can go in and get our games. Yeah. Inside! Yeah, let's go! Wait. Our games? It must have been a slip of the tongue. PBG approached the register while I examined the game in the shelf just to the side of it. I had no idea what most of them were, but there were several I was interested in. One had pictures of cows on it, another a group of teenagers like they were lost in a city. These were all games for the handheld I had, but when I looked at the price tags, I balked. There was no way I would get one anytime soon. Dejected, I went to stay with PBG at the register. Here's your order, Mr. Butter Gamer. Oh, I pre ordered two. You did? You did? You did! Sorry, here's the other copy. Thanks! Oh, he bought one for her. PBG paid them in, and we left the stores with games in hand. As he went back to the train station, I side-eyed him. <laughs> ellipses. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Longer ellipses! I love the ellipses. Uh. What? <laughs> Nothing! We made it to the station just as the train was loading and managed to sprint inside just in time. That was close, but at least we're inside, and look, we've got the whole carriage to ourselves. He spread his arms out wide in the plastic bag he had rustled. He looked at the bag as if surprised. Oh, right! He pulled out one copy of the game and held it out to me. What? This? This is for you! I got it for you! Sorry I didn't give it back. Give it to you back at the store, but I wanted to be sure we didn't miss the train. I can't take this from you! It's way too expensive! Don't worry about it. I got it for you. But... He pouted. But if you don't take it, I'll be sad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I took the game and looked at the cover. There were small animals on a round green earth with yellow letters reading Animal Intersection across the top. <laughs> animal Intersection! I love the way they've twisted the names of these games and stuff. It's beautiful. A little yellow dog and some pink fluffy creatures smiled at the different humans on the screen. Tears filled my eyes. My first game. Happy? Am I happy? Oh my gosh! I started jumping up and down right then and there in the middle of the train Yay! compartment. I got my first game! I got my first game! <laughs> I'm gonna play this all night! Err. We'll wait and play it after school tomorrow. What? Why? Just... trust me. This game works with a real time clock, so you'll have more fun that way. I sighed. Okay. PBG grinned at my dismay. Anyways, let's get you to bed. PBG walked me to the front of the girl's dorm like a true gentleman. When we got to the door, he hesitated. Hey, hey Hana. Yes? Uh, do you think... He trailed off staring at me. I smiled at him. Do I think what? Um. um never mind. It was nothing. <laughs> Just come out and say it, PBG! <laughs> You're killing me here, dude! <laughs> Thanks for coming with me tonight. Oh, no problem. He's the two most stubborn kids. He pulled the door open and waved me inside. My lady? Why, thank you! <laughs> I giggled. Seriously, thank you. This means more to me than you know. I mean, it's nothing, really. See you later. Good night, PBG. Bye. Night, Hana. When I got back to the room, I was already asleep. I changed quietly and climbed into bed, game in hand. I couldn't wait to play it tomorrow. I slipped it underneath my pillow and snuggled into bed. What a wonderful night. Hana. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna save... That this doesn't look good. 
You are so dense. <laughs> Thank you, Gabe! Dear Darby, I almost can't believe a single human being could be so sweet, so thoughtful. He knows exactly how much this means to me. It's the perfect gift. It's everything I ever wanted. It was just such a meaningful gesture. I I just think Peanut Butter Gamer is, is nice. Nice is not the word for it. Here we go. Hana, wake up. You need to look at this. I raised my head groggily from my pillow, hardly registering where I was. Mai stood over me, smiling like a... S smiling... Bleh. Something like a smile on her face. What? What is it? Also, you're going to be late. But look at this. She handed me a piece of paper written in a familiar scroll. Another note? Seems like it. Read it. Part of my world. Imagine a ball on an evening so swell. I can be Prince Eric. You can be Ariel. <laughs> we'll dance on the shore where we both fell in love and saw the moon dancing so far up above. Well, be just like that pair, I promise it, dear. Your hair glistens, glowing red off of this pier. Such a beautiful sight from this glistening beach. Do you have the littlest mermaid on Disney DVD? When I finished reading, I clasped against it. My, what's wrong? You don't like it? I wish it were different somehow. I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. <laughs> to my surprise, my burst out laughing. What? What is it? You're a true main character, Hana. Oh boy, this is great! You're as dense as a brick! <laughs> How would you rather the note was written I then? I don't know. I don't know. It's too... I mean, it's an awkward note, but it's not the right kind of awkward, you know? Uh-huh. I guess I want it to make me feel more like... Of course! I could never forget you! I usually feel like I'm a joke to people, but when I'm with you, I feel like I'm more than that. Oh, here we go. Oh, Hana, it's so nice to see you right when I wake up. Man, this day's gonna be good. Uh, More like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Hana, dear. Mai was leaning against her desk, double over in laughter, hitting it with something more than human strength. What? What is it? Mai flicked a tear from her eye, wheezing. Oh, sometimes I just want to strangle you. Ellipses. Are you ready for class yet? You woke up late so we can't even get breakfast. Ah! Ellipses. I'm ready! Yes! The toast in the mouth! Required. I was unpacking my backpack before class that morning when, to my astonishment, Ian approached me and began a conversation. Anna. Anna, my good friend, how are you? I squinted at him. Fine. How are you? <laughs> oh, I'm doing well. In fact, my tournament training has been going better this year than ever before. I just landed in the top 20 highest scores for Japan at number 20, but still. And, uh, how are you doing with your training? Did you just come over to talk smack to me, Ian? Yeah. Fine. I smiled brightly at him, one hand on my treasured phone. <laughs> Damn, foiled again! <laughs> I cocked my head to the side, unsure of what exactly he was talking about. <laughs> you mark my words, Hanamiz, you know, I will win this tournament. And when I do, you can bet I will idly mock you the next time I see you in the cafeteria. <laughs> he went back to his seat and slumped down with a huff. Luke leaned down to high five him and Eve shot him a mean look, a uh, look mean enough to kill a pea plant. I smiled, a small feeling of pride blooming in my chest. Still, there were only two weeks left until the tournament. I had to keep on my practice or Ian would make good on that threat. I have no doubts he would. Okay, um, I think I'm going to stop here for this particular stream. Um, oh, well, let's read this first. <laughs> Current event, please stop the notes! <laughs> Oh, is she going to write a note on the door saying, like, please do not leave any more notes here? What if it is PBG, though? Oh, my God. I'm going to lose my mind. This game is making me feel all the feels, and it's, like, tugging my heart in a thousand different directions. This is awful. Okay, let's read this before I end this episode. Um, Dear Diary, I got this villager in my animal city with a little crown on his head. I want to be his best friend. He's so cute. Yeah, Animal Crossing is a pretty cute game, I have to say. Actually, PBG just started a uh, 
on his Let's Play. He just started a, an Animal Crossing uh, playthrough just today, actually, or yesterday. Alright, so that's going to be it for this particular um, stream. I will be streaming again tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, looking at the chat, you can see all of my social media information. You can follow me here on Twitch and follow me on Twitter at the Chew, Or you can visit my YouTube channel um, to watch my previous streams. And I hope that you guys join me uh, for my next stream. Thank you again to Spike Plays Games for the host. And I will see you guys on the next stream. Thanks for watching. <laughs>